everybody, let's go ahead and get started for our advanced kettlebells. Let's take that left arm and hold it across your chest for a little warm up. Now today we have seven different routines you're going to do. That's totaling 96 reps. So I hope you're ready for that. Let's take that right arm across the chest. Pretty dynamic routine today. We have a lot of lifts, rib action, and uh, hope you've done your Pilates, your Tai Chi to understand how the body works. Go and stretch your arms out and uh, let's go ahead and hold up your right leg. Alright, drop that and let's grab your left. Now like I said, seven different routines and feel free to pause the video anytime you need to. But we're going to go from one to seven. 100% little breaks in between. Let's go down on your left. No set goes longer than 16 reps, but make sure that when you do these that you give 100% every time you get your butt nice and low and you try to get that rib action in as you're breathing. That's the difference between an advanced kettlebeller and a beginner. Let's go down on your right. Really lift up on your neck here and your lower back. Really get a nice stretch in the lower back too back up and down in the middle. All right, come on up and let's get ready to rock and roll. Alright, your first step today is going to be the screwdriver. When you take the weight down, make sure you turn your knuckles to where your elbow is facing outward and that shoulder is backwards. You should have done this before, but this time I want you to concentrate on really keeping that shoulder back and your eyes up. And you're going to get that pop from the knees to do the switch. Okay, another thing you want to know is when you lift it up, you sink down with the knees and you never have the kettlebell make a sound. Always silently switch it from hand to hand. Ready? And let's go. One, two, three. Eyes up. Four. Go down with the tape. Five, six, seven, four to twelve. Six, four more. One, two, three. Last one. Four. On the drop. Nice. All right, so this is the new one for you advanced kettlebellers. Let's go ahead and pick up the kettlebell, and you're gonna treat this a lot like your one-arm swing. So you take it down low, and then you thrust and swing it far away from your body so it gets up high, but this time, instead of stopping at the eyes, hold it all the way up above your head. Again, we go down, we swing it away, you only stand on one foot, it's a bent knee, the other knee's completely straight. Now when it's up, you want to make sure that hip is nice in line and the ribs are over on the opposite side of the kettlebell. Another thing you want to know is to keep the shoulder down and make sure the kettlebell does not go back behind you. It's really dangerous. Always hold it out in front just a little bit. Last thing you want to know is to hold the kettlebell like a gun down on the bottom, not in the middle. Let's 
pat down those muscles, make sure that they're working well. Just tapping on the muscles increases the blood flow and uh, I consider it a little bit of a ballistic stretch. Alright, so let's pick up your kettlebell and you should know this one already, the two-arm pop. This is the same thing you've done before, but this time we're going to really concentrate on making sure when we drop the kettlebell, when you hold it up here on the top, you want to make sure you don't make any noise at all when you hold onto that. So you're going to pop it up, and when you pop it, catch it really lightly. When you catch it, you have to sink down. Now, as you can see on the side view, you want to make sure that when you catch it, your arms are really high and you sink down with the knees. That's the difference in the advanced kettlebeller and the beginner, is that we really sink with the butt when we catch this. Just make sure we concentrate on that. Ready? And one. And two. Go ahead and stretch out the arms and get ready for this clean. Just swing it out a little bit. You want to stay nice and limber. And as you're stretching out, you just let that heart rate get back down. So think some nice, peaceful thoughts right now. And give a little stretch in with me. One of the main problems I see in people that aren't in very good shape is they do not take breaks in between sets. So don't fast forward right here. Take this break with me. Okay, let's pick up the kettlebell. Now you should be familiar with cleans. If you haven't, you gotta review that intermediate video. But let me refresh it. You lift it up, put it back behind you, and you open the hand. Notice how relaxed my hand is when I lift it up. And that shoulder actually drops down. Let's see that from the side. My shoulder drops down and my hand's relaxed. Now also my wrist comes up really high. Now I'm gonna make sure that the wrist goes up, then down. Up, then down. That rotation really makes a big difference when you're holding on to this. You guys ready? And go. One. And two. And three. Relax those fingers on that upside. Four. Five. Twist that other arm around. Six. Two more on this side. Get that butt low. Seven. One more. And three. Get that other elbow way out in front. That's five. Breathe with me. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Pop and drop. Great. You're almost there, guys. That's four out of seven. Now remember, you don't have to do every set with me. If you can only make it to four, that's great. I want to know that you're giving 100% every time. You don't have to go all the way through give 100% in the time that you do put in. Now I gotta admit this advanced video is actually my own personal routine I do with kettlebells. I do the one arm swing but when I lift it, I toss it out and catch it with the other hand. Now you can see that when I do this, I toss it out and I twist my hand behind to catch on the other side. And that gives it a little bit of a twist and uh, easily catches it in the other hand so that you don't really have to do much effort in the arms. It's actually all in the legs. You guys ready with me? Let's do it. And one. And two. And three. Toss that other arm behind. Four. Five. Six. We're going to 16. Seven. Give me eight more. One. Think about that breathing. And three. Four. Five. Heads up, guys. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Pop. And drop. 
drop. You're doing great. That's five out of seven. You know, that first video we did, beginner, that was only four routines total, so you're already way past that. You're gonna bounce around now, get that ballistic stretch back in. Keep this muscle nice and warm, but don't stretch those tendons out too much. You definitely don't want a gymnastic type stretch here or a yoga stretch. Hold it for a few seconds with me and move on. All right, we only have two more sets. Let's go ahead and stretch out those glutes. You're really gonna need them on this set. We're gonna take everything that we know and put it into this one set here. You got 16 reps. So the clean, you already know. You take that kettlebell, you toss it away, and you bring it up into the clean. But now we go into the Statue of Liberty and put it up above us. Let's do that again. We go down, bring it away, and then you sling it up into the clean and Liberty. Notice I'm only on one leg when I'm doing this. That's the difference in an advanced routine and a beginner. You really need to understand how to go on one leg and sling the weight away from you, not just lifting it up. Now you'll also notice my left arm is swinging around. That left arm plays a big deal into this. Now if you can't keep up with me, just do as much as you can. Ready? Let's go. And one. Great job, pop and drop. Very good set. That's probably the hardest set you'll do today. And kettlebells doesn't really get that much better than that. Great job guys, we just have one more set. Only eight reps total on this whole thing. You have 30 seconds to give me and then we are done for the day. Feel free to take a three, four minute break before you start this. But this is the difference between somebody that wins and somebody that doesn't. You're just alternating in between each rep. All right, you ready? Let's do it. And swing, shoot, and out. Switch. That's a swing. Shoot, and out. Switch. Swing. That's three. Out, and switch. Swing. Four, and out. Good job, guys. Swing, up, that's five, just three more. Swing, up, and out. Swing, up, and out. One more, you got it. Swing, up, and down. Great job. Great workout, guys. Thanks for joining me for Advanced Kettlebells with The Move and Matt Hackney.